Hello all and welcome to another episode of AJ Chats. Only I'm not going to be chatting today, I'm not going to be doing no such thing. Well I will be talking, but I'm going to reverse the camera, I'm going to freehand it and I'm going to give you a room tour. So, let's do this tour. <laughs> Okay, welcome back to the channel everyone. If you're a new um, viewer, then welcome to the channel. Now, as you know, a little while ago, end of last year, I had a shift around with rooms. I came out of the room next door, into this room, set up anew, and I have, people have asked me for a room tour. Um, I put out a thingy, whether people wanted me to do a room tour, you know, a poll. Um, and also I've had people say to me, take your time with it, don't rush it. Let's see the sort of things that you've got. Um, so, fair enough, I shall do that. However, that means this may be broken into two parts. I'll see how we go. If it's broken into two parts, the second part will be tomorrow. Um, same time, so you ain't got to wait too long. Um, so, should we just begin? Let's begin. Okay, so before anything else, I'll show you how I film. So I have a little table like that. I have a box on it, which just elevates the stand I'm holding at the moment. Um, Jimmy, straight on. Obviously I have a ring light and I have a chair. There, a couple of cushions on it. One of Timothy Oliphant that was gifted to me from my son as a kind of in-joke. Um, that was last Christmas, just over a year ago. Um, because yes, um, I like Timothy Oliphant <laughs> and, and so does he. And we said that if we ever went gay, that'd be our man. Well, there we go. So then we have a Harley Quinn um, cushion there. Now in the other room, I did have other cushions, but I have um, just put these two in here because that one was gifted to me. And I like that one. So let me move this stuff okay, out of Okay, so stepping into the room, as you can see, I got bookcases there. I'm gonna go to the left, work my way around this way. Now, as you can see, there's green backlighting all the way around the room. Now, that green backlighting, I'll turn the light off, actually continues round all up there, down these aisles, up the top, round the tops where these aisles come out, all like so. And there we have it, all the way round. All the way down there, round the back of the door and up, all the way around and down. I actually used 30 meters of backlighting to do that, um, which is pretty cheap. So there we go. So as you can see on the floor, there's a Han Solo in carbon freeze rug. Nice big rug. I did think about trying to get it on the wall behind the door in this space here. Well, there where that Punisher poster is, but alas, it was too big. So anyway, so let's go in. Let's work my way around. So here is my control. So the first thing you'll notice, that's the Jurassic Park um, thing gifted to be by my son, is that here, and this is out of place, is that I do have a tortoise tank. I do have a tortoise run. You know, tortoise is, you know, he's my pet. A couple of signs on the front of that, Camp Crystal Lake and Elm Street. And there's a load of comic books on the shelf below. And underneath there are canvases that I can change up on the wall. So the tortoise wasn't going anywhere. The tortoise was staying in here because, well, he's not going to stay in a room on his own. He likes company. Let's go in his tank. But at the moment, you can see he's in there. He's sort of in his little... Well, he's got two little holes that he can go into. Um, he would have water normally, but he doesn't come out at the moment. So he just gets his water intake when he has a bath. So, there we go. So that's that bit. So on top of this, I have a statue of a character called Lady Death, who is a comic book character. And behind her is a full-size alien xenomorph head. 
Now, I say false, it is big. Uh, it's solid. This actually came from Alien War that was in the Trocadero, London. Um, I believe five or six of them were made. Um, for that, simply for that, based on the casts from the, or taken from the casts of the Alien Head for the real the film Aliens. And I was lucky enough to acquire one some 20, about 20 years ago. Um, Fishing, it's got a little chip on it there, but maybe the black paint won't fix. Um, and there we go. So carrying on around. Above that, we have Thanos himself with a spawn figure beside it. And we'll come into the spawns later. Because I'm going to the right. And behind there, there's a Predator. Yes, from McFarlane Toys when he done the Movie Maniacs line. Um, there is a base for this Predator in a box, but let's get a gun point in, shall we? That's better. Um, and obviously it's quite a large one as well. Then we have a Joker canvas there, but these are changeable. I can change them up. Um, you can see the USS Enterprise there. We'll come to that later. Now, next to the canvas, I have a um, Diamond Select Toys or Select Toys. Vincent and Bob from the Black Hole movie, unopened, I didn't want to open it. And below that, there is a Lego Batmobile. Again, a large piece. I have done a video of this on its own. Um, Tim Burton's Batmobile, fantastic. It took ages to build, but it's a fantastic experience building that. It really is. So let's go down onto the shelf below, shall we? Where it's pretty dark. Put the light on now um, to help. So here we have a Batarang, yes. Um, it does fold up as well. And behind we have a wealth of DC animated movies and a jar of Skittles because I like Skittles. Now walk it, go into the shelf below. We have more in the way of and some very dusty Marvel figures that I should have dusted before I'm doing this. But there we go. Um, Man Thing, Galactus. That's actually still from um, Superman, DC. Let's put him up there. A couple of mugs we've got. Just kicking around and behind a load of DC animated movies yet again. And Wally. And on the bottom shelf, I do have books and comic books there making of books all things like that you can see the titles um, yeah good stuff there have a Sylvester there and the Daffy Duck yeah these came from the Warner Brothers store up London when they existed obviously uh, Daffy Duck is a lot bigger than Sylvester he was a small one so going up Again from the Warner Brothers store, I have this Superman bust. Um, that's not white, that's, even he's dusty, isn't he? That dust just gets everywhere. So moving on round. Freddy Krueger glove in front of a Jaws canvas. And below the Freddy Krueger glove is Freddy's car from um, the end of A Nightmare on Elm Street. With Nancy inside. Um, yeah. I don't know, I've got some bits there. Oh, dust. And I have a Terminator head from Terminator Salvation. That is the DVD head that DVDs came in. Got that from Blockbuster Video in Pearly one day. Then moving along, we have a canvas for Back to the Future. And we have an Iron Man mask, which is actually Punisher Iron Man mask. Which was a um, comic book where the Punisher stole the War Machine armor, or got a hold of it. Um, it's all sound and the light. The, you can't really see it, but the lights of eyes have lit up. And then below that, moving down on this cupboard, we have a Back to the Future car, which um, does light up like so. Um, 
and behind we have all the DC live action movies still books and all and TV series there we also have a car from Back to the Future 3 and a V8 Interceptor um, dusty one and below that we have a clean one we have dust clean dust clean and then behind there and well we have a Batmobile there and kit a car there and behind DC TV series like so and then moving down we have doubled up on the things here the films and we have basically TV and other superhero related comic book movies and the like stuff all based on so basically this corner of the room here as you can see is all sort of comic book related films and movies so moving on to this bit here first of all we have the x-men first class total film cover framed with emma frost on the cover because it was a great great looking cover and then we have a john burnthal punisher statue there and another one here this one here is actually holding Daredevil's mask from season two of Daredevil. Next to that, we have Captain America's zombie statue. And below that, Tony Hart Stark's um, arc reactor, which does actually light up. Let's see if I can make it light okay, up. Okay, there you go. You can see it illuminated now. Um, not sure how to operate it, you just tap on the glass. It'll come off and oh, it's pulsating now. Yeah. So that's really good. Let me unplug it now. Been down the shelf. As you can see, we have a Punisher. It's just a plastic money box thing. Picked up in Vin Planet for about seven quid. It's quite good. And here we have steel books for the MCU stuff, all the way down and through, with a Captain America shield there. You'll see a few of them. And there we go. All the MCU Mondo ones there. I'm still collecting. Then on the next shelf, a continuation of Steelbooks from Marvel. Agent Carter, that Electra one's quite rare actually. Um, and we've got my only two Fungo Pops. Both Captain Carters in different outfits. And then we have some um, uh, uh, more Marvel stuff there. And then dropping down, here we have um, Amaray Marvels all the way through. Including all the stuff from Netflix. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. All this Marvel stuff. So much of it. Who would have thought, eh? Including all the, yeah, the first, the Disney stuff there. Netflix stuff is down the bottom. Um... Daredevil, 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 Jessica Jones, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist Defenders, Punisher, Hit Monkey, Modoc. Yeah. So carrying on. Like I said, we have a big Captain America shield here, centre of the room. And here we have a number of lightsabers. Now the lightsabers are going to be wall mounted, just not got to it yet. So we have this one here. And don't think that's got a battery in it. Yes, no, no, it has. It has a blue one. Turn that off. Have that one there. Then we have this one. 
green one. And these are all false effects lightsabers. Here we have just another blue one. And here we have, um, this one isn't mine, it's actually my son's. Um, I've got to try and so get what it we have here is, this is Kylo Ren's lightsaber. How do I get it on? Where's the button? I've got to find the button now. It's there. Quite chunky hilt on that. And then I think this last one doesn't have batteries in. But this one here is a Count Dooku lightsaber. And it has got batteries in. There we go. That's good. Yeah. But I'll turn it off. There we go. So. There's all them lightsabers there. Not only that, in here, I do have this sword here, Samurai Sword, which is actually Michonne's from The Walking Dead replica. Um, again, that's my son's, not mine. Um, and there's another little Samurai Sword back there, oh, which has no relevance to anything. But if I press this button, it will open up and give you the eye there. Behind is a small infinity gauntlet that actually connects to um, like your phone, Bluetooth, and will play music out of it. And here's a gauntlet of Tony Stark's and a little Alexa behind in a in a um, Grogu thing. Now behind there I have a image, poster, picture framed from the Asylum of the Daleks, Doctor Who. Um, and a Black Adam statue there next to a Boba Fett statue. So moving down and here we have a wealth of steel books. Not the blood rains on top obviously. Yes, two angry birds they're picked up in Poundland. Um, I've kept both of them. Um, yeah, you can see the sort of titles that are there. And there's a Freddy Krueger inspired Bushu doll uh, figure, I think they were called. I can't remember. Down here, VHS of The Punisher. Just for keepsake reasons. And we have more steelbooks. All Star Trek's there, making up the 50th anniversary image. A couple of solos up there. Star Wars. Not all of these are in order. Down the bottom, we have more still books running along here. Alien vs Predator there. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. That's the um, thingy one. Cause I, I ain't actually put these in any sort of order yet. I've just put them in here. Um, it's a notebook. Yeah, down there. Then up here, moving up. Have another Doctor Who signed image there. In front of that. The Rocketeer. Next to the Rocketeer, we have Doctor Doom. Captain Carter poster behind, framed. And then we have Robocop. Big, big figure with Robocop there, as you can see. Um, and it does have sound, but there's no batteries in it. And moving down to here, we have the Cup of Christ, Indiana Jones, Last Crusade, and tons more still books, as you can see, with. Walking Dead bust thing there. That 
is actually a money box. Um, there we go. And then drop down the level. Move them out of the way. Just some coins and stuff. We come to another shelf. Tony Stark, very dusty looking. Um, yes, the white Indiana Jones and the new Indiana Joneses. Moving all the way along. Still book. Still book. Still book. Still book. Still book. Then below that, again, more in the way of still books and some special edition releases of stuff. Um, these releases here, these are the ones that sort of light up. As you can sort of see, that was a light up there. Spider-Man. Lights up as well. And then you got the Captain Marvel one, who lights up also. Looking good. Hopefully they will switch off. Um, then moving up, in the corner we have a old solo figure from Star Wars Archive and a full-size Boba Fett helmet there. Next to an image of Grogu, canvas, and a life-size um, Grogu replica. And next to that we have um, Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber. Now there's a gap on the wall there. That is because I've got a wall thing to hold lightsabers on. Which will be attached here when I get around to it. A life size face hugger. Moving down, we have a large Violator figure from Spawn and a large Spawn Commando figure. These are quite, these are really greatly detailed. Um, McFarlane Toys does a fantastic job. Now, moving down, love a lot of dusty figures there. Look how thick that dust is. Embarrassing, but there we go. We have Titans of Cult behind. Titans of Cult releases, not all of them. Um, moving into some other special edition releases here. Lenticular Force Awakens. That's the 3D Lenticular Force Awakens. Plus Film Vault range stuff. Then moving down, we have some more. Collector's Edition stuff. Um, I think that Wonder Woman has, yeah, that's a lenticular on that. Target exclusive. That's pretty good, though. The Hulk figure. And some more Special Edition stuff there. And dropping down, we have, like, some Book of the Dead for Necronomicon Ex Mortis. And, um, Evil Dead. And the DVD release, Kill Bill, big release here, DVD set, which comes with a wealth of stuff. And a couple of Freddy Nightmares I've just put in there. Um, Matt sent me this, which is Saving Private Ryan on VHS. And then I have 4K Wizard of Oz. Some of the VHS range stuff there. Um, what's that under there? I don't know what's that. Oh, Dirty Dancing, 30th anniversary, free bound. Um, yeah, and this stuff down here, as you can see. Okay, yeah. so part two I'll do tomorrow, oh. where we'll venture through all the TV stuff, all the collectibles there behind that ring light, um, all films and stuff. Now the aisles, thanks to Kermit's Ghost, um, sort of took the idea inspired by him shall we say now they're all collectors sets along the top we'll go through all of them have a look what there is and go around all the statues kicking around and all the figures that are mounted the wall up the top all the way around the room have a look at this stuff that's hanging from the ceiling falcon star trek star wars 
um, yeah, we shall have a look. But what I'll finish on is this Lucifer, Lucille, sorry, Lucifer, Lucille baseball bat here from The Walking Dead. As you can see, prop replica type of thing, it's not real. Um, and behind it is a blade for a lightsaber, which actually fits that lightsaber there and works like the others, but it's detachable. So there we go. So yeah, so I'm gonna leave it at that for now. And then tomorrow, um, come back and see the rest. Um, otherwise it'll be a pretty long video and that takes ages to upload for me. So it's easier in two parts, to be honest. So come back tomorrow to see part two and I'll see you then. Take care all and goodbye.